Lionhearts, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion. Today we are headed out to the airport on an adventure. We are going to El Paso, Texas. Now the reason that we're going there is basically a friend of mine owns a business and he wants to start making some merch for me. He wants to start making some embroidered merch and so he's flying me out there to check out their uh, production show me some ideas and uh, we're gonna do some vlogging while we're there and there's a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to check out uh, we're gonna at some point probably go to a graveyard actually maybe two graveyards we're gonna go to a pawn shop we're gonna go do a bunch of things that I've read about online that I think you guys are gonna love so days with Jordan the lion getting ready to rock getting out of here heading to Texas begins now no use turning that guy on today I'm having my green juice before I go Kind of looks like swamp water. I've got my backpack all packed. I've got all the clothes. Pretty much everything I'm taking is gonna fit in this backpack and it's not gonna be overstuffed this time like usual. I'm only gonna take one camera, the one that's in my hand, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna double check, make sure I have everything, but pretty much I'm ready to go. I'm gonna head out of here in about 45 minutes. Now as much as we're going for work so that they can kind of show me their facilities and show me some of their ideas and things like that, this is also going to be a lot of fun because Orlando has been watching my channel for over a year now and uh, when I did a meetup for Christmas last year, he came all the way from Texas for the meetup. So uh, I just I think this will be a fantastic time and like I said, I've already went through and kind of found what I want to vlog while I'm there and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Every day will be a little bit different. Well, we made it to the flyaway, and now it's 10 minutes past when the flyaway was supposed to leave, and it's still not here. Dun dun dun! Well, 25 minutes late, but there it is. Finally here. Man, that's an old Toyota. Taking off through Southwest again. Well, there's our plane. Well, I got over to the gate, had about an hour to kill, so I went over and got some uh, lox and cream cheese on a bagel before we fly out. Shouldn't be long now, though. All right, here we go. Off to El Paso. I think it's a two hour flight with time changes. We got a window seat.
we made it. Our rental's down. Oh, nice. They're ready for Christmas here, aren't they? Wow, nice statue. <laughs> well, my friends, we are in El Paso, and we are at the place that I wanted to come vlog today. Called the House of Sugar. Now, this place is amazing, as you can tell. No detail is left untouched here, and there's a good reason. The guy who created this place, his name Rufino, he's been working on this for over 20 years. And he's actually a retired employee from Levi Strauss. And they said when he retired, he, he needed something to do and wanted to get his artistic side out, and I'd say he did it. <laughs> Let's take a look. We got here a little late in the day, but they did say that he, uh, if he sees people around here, he loves to come out and talk. He's, uh, he's a Spanish guy, but they said he'll translate to English and see those little uh, lions outlined in there. There's so much detail here. I mean, it's, it definitely reminds me of the Watts Towers. Simon Rodia. Except none of this is mosaic. This is all, look at this. That's the house. Look, there's a king's crown right there. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, man. And I figured it would be. Just from what I read online, I was really excited to come see any place that would be called the House of Sugar. crazy how much stuff there is to show you. What a great job, huh? Yeah, we haven't even made it a quarter away through the house yet. Keep El Paso beautiful. There's our Palo Lando. Look, he even, he's asking for new skates. But look, he did all the way up the walkway. These Mexican artworks are made in homage to the city of El Paso. Pretty cool, pretty freaking cool. Now what I couldn't find online that I would love to know is what is it that he did at Levi Strauss? What was his, what was his job? Because this is far too eclectic and artistic of a mind to, uh, to have not been able to use it all the time, so. If you notice, he changes colors partially. Different parts of it will be blue and white, different parts will be red and white. Patron saint of the animals, San Francisco. this place I think he I think he totally knocked it out of the park here I am definitely impressed. <laughs> definitely, definitely impressed. And here on this tiny little plaque, you can see the name of the place. 
Like I mentioned, the House of Sugar. Now he's clearly a pretty religious guy. Because there's a lot of praying places. And then this one says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe in me, though we were dead, yet shall we live. And whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Well, let's keep going. Let's see if he had the audacity to go all the way around the property. He did. He did. And if they haven't designated it a historic place, he did himself. Gotta love it. Now check out the flowers right here. He handmade those. Now we're making our, way, making our way all the way around to the last side we haven't seen yet. Much like anyone that does these kind of places, I always wonder what does the neighborhood think of it or what do his neighbors think? They must like it. And I wonder if those are supposed to be like little sugar cubes. Oh yeah, he did it all. Yeah, he definitely did it all. Oh, here he did an entire flower pot. The prayer of colors, welcome. Look at all those flowers he made. Those are all made out of wood and metal. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we didn't get to meet him, but I didn't want to go bugging anybody at uh, what would be dinner hours. We do have to walk up this little walkway though and take a look at his fence. He did a bang up job on the fence. More lions inside of there. This time they're red. Red painted. Yeah, great job. I love it. And right over here, it says, In God we trust. And then once you make it all the way around, La Casa de Azucar. House of Sugar, the Sugar House. Well, there it is, in its entirety. A full walk around. Great job, man, great job, Rufino. 20 years. Pretty cool that something this elaborate is right here off the side of the freeway. You can see it as you're exiting the freeway. Great job, man. 20 years worth of beauty and labor. I dig it. Now off to our next stop. We just passed a Whataburger and I've never had one, so I may have to put that on my list of things to do while I'm in El Paso. Try the Whataburger. Now straight ahead is what we came to see, but I don't think it's open. I saw online they had a Gene Roddenberry planetarium, the man who created Star Trek. He's from El Paso. So I thought it might be cool to come check it out, but it looks like it's not open or anything. I was hoping maybe they'd have a statue of him or something out here. Well, they definitely have a schedule, so well, it looks like it's been closed for a while now that I'm looking at it. Do you see that? 2016, 2017 public schedule. Oh, bummer. I'd say we're definitely really late. <laughs> well, we tried, bummer, but they're definitely out of business. Yeah, if there was ever a statue of him out here, it's long gone now. We're very, very close to Mexico right here. Very close to Juarez. Look 
Look at that old Sears sign up there. We were driving through downtown El Paso and I looked over and I go, what is this? We gotta stop by and take a look at this. It looks like it's the El Paso Boxing Hall of Fame. Or at least that's, that's what the mural is. Now we have a champion over here. This guy's wearing a belt, it says Juan Lascano, WEC World Lightweight Champion 2003, inducted in 2003. Huh. Oscar De La Hoya. Al Cardenas, the referee. Marty Martinez. I actually don't know who any of these people are, but it's kind of cool. It looks like this Wall of Fame slash Hall of Fame was, uh, looks like it must have been started in 93 because everybody is either inducted in 93 to, or till about 2003. I don't see anybody any later than that. pretty cool to put on here. I saw it and I said, that's not something you see every day. See this building is called electricity and then the, uh, the sign is all electricity. Colors keep changing, nice. Now Orlando was just telling me that this plaza hotel right here for uh, for a year of her life, Elizabeth Taylor was living up here in the penthouse when she was uh, hooked up with the Hiltons. Now it says online that she lived on the 18th floor and that she had the entire floor to herself. Now we're heading over into this little park right here because it has a pretty fascinating history to it too. There's your first hint. So what this statue represents in front of us, it's basically a pile of alligators. Up until the 1960s, they had like a pond here that was full of live alligators. <laughs> so they're no longer here. You can see pictures online. I'll post in here to kind of show you what it looked like back then, but now they've commemorated it with this uh, statue and even in the, uh, the water you can see the the mosaic of the alligators going around. Now they've decided to commemorate it here, right in the middle of uh, downtown El Paso. Kind of cool. Wonder whose brilliant idea it was to have that as an attraction. A pond full of alligators. I wonder if they had any problems. All right, time for some dinner. If you're in Texas, I think it makes sense to go to a Texas Roadhouse. So that's what we're doing. All right, our food is here. I went ahead and got the uh, pulled pork plate, some corn and some mashed potatoes. Orlando got the, uh, the chicken salad. Let's do this. I guess it's somebody's birthday because they started yelling saddle up and they dragged a, uh, or drug a saddle over here. Let's see if this guy's gonna get on his birthday saddle. He sure is. Yeah! Classic. Right, Texas Roadhouse that was great I loved every bit of that meal well time to check into my hotel all right we're all checked into my room I got a king-size bed nothing to complain about there yep good first day here in El Paso well my friends we're gonna call it a night thank you Laura Hedrick for becoming my newest patreon and thank you all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog today and come back tomorrow we have some exciting things to do tomorrow that you guys won't want to miss out on and we're gonna go check out some of the uh, ideas that Orlando and his team have for um, some of my new merchandise. So have a great night, we'll see you all tomorrow.
Goodbye.